Hey guys, this is HK, and today we're going to be looking at a, a quick guide for how to find your mouse sensitivity, and also just a quick look at all the video settings in Valorant. So diving right into it, one of the easiest or most common ways to find a solid mouse sensitivity in any shooter is just pick a point on a map, they say like the sign, I'm going to pick this, this right here, or some people just like shoot at the wall to draw a dot, but the bullet kind of goes away too quickly for me, so... And you just want to strafe left and right while trying to trace your point of interest. Now, one thing about this is if you're moving to the left and your mouse is going too far past your target, like doing, and your mouse is to the right of the target. So say I'm moving this way and my mouse is like this, that means your mouse sensitivity is probably too high and that's why you're pushing it a little too quickly when you're try moving left and trying to keep up with it. While if you're moving left and your mouse is to the left of your target, your mouse sensitivity is too low because you're having a hard time keeping up with the target. So you basically just pick any starting point. Um, for me, I picked, I think it was like 0.5. I, I, I usually play pretty low. So for me, when I started, I picked 0.5. And for example, this is a little high for me. So when the opposite is true too. If you move to the right and the mouse is too far to the left, then this is too high. But if you move to the right and the mouse is, just can't keep up and it's staying on the right, your mouse sensitivity is too low. And having that information as you try to trace it will help you try to hone in on a mouse sensitivity that you might be comfortable with. So let's give that a shot. This is a little too high for me right now. So you see I've got I'm moving right or left. It's a little, you see like a little twitches off of it. It's because it's a little too high for me right now. So I'm gonna, so if I was actually doing this for real, I'll lower it. Maybe to say 0.4 and then just try again and see what's happening here. There's still a little bit of weirdness and jittery. I'm like, slow. so I am moving to the left, even though I'm moving left. And that usually shows that your mouse sensitivity is too low. But I know like physically I'm trying to overcompensate for this being a little quicker. So that's why that's happening to me. So keep that in mind too. I, I mean, this is a general generalization as to like whether something too high or low. But for, for example, just now when I was moving left, I was staying on the left and usually that means it's too low, but that's not the case. It was just me overcompensating with my aim. And that's why that was happening. But this is definitely still a little too high for me. So, and then you just keep doing this until you find something that you're comfortable with. And for me, I eventually found that was 0.29. So another quick way to find a mouse sensitivity that you're comfortable with is if you're, if you're familiar with other shooters, right? Then you can try to mimic what sensitivity you have in those games. Even though the numbers aren't the same, there's a quick way to find out what the equivalent is for Valorant. Hey guys, so bringing it over to Counter-Strike for just one second because this is the shooter that I'm familiar with. Maybe it's Apex or, you know, Overwatch or whatever for you. And just find a point on the wall that, you, like this for example, and what I'm going to do is the same test. I'm going to swing my mouse about one foot and you see I end up about here. So a little bit past this line, so I'm a little bit more than 180 degrees and I know that that's going to work for me because I've played it for so long. So now let's go back to Valorant. So coming back to Valorant, I figured out that one foot on my mouse pad gets me approximately a little bit more than 180 degrees. So that's kind of how I found my mouse sensitivity in the first place. I started with that, so I approximated it to be 0.3, and that's when I moved it to 0.29 using the test with tracing the object. So one really cool thing about this training range is also you're able to change your aim sensitivity on the fly with these buttons right here. and one of the important things is when, when trying this, what you could try is when the bots spawn, you don't even have to shoot at them, or maybe just shoot like one bullet, but don't correct yourself. Just notice either you're a little short or a little past the target, and that also might give you a hint as to whether your sensitivity is too high if you go past or too low if you're too short on your flicks. Of course, your flicks might just be a might just be a lack of practice and familiarity with the game and not so much a problem with your mouse sensitivity, but your mouse sensitivity should, if you consistently see yourself going too hot, too far, then that might be too high for you. So what it'll look like is you do one tap, one tap. Also try not to use your movement too much because that also works into your aim if I'm fixing it with movement. 
So just flick to it and click. And make sure you're not doing too many micro adjustments. See there, I went a little too far. So that's when I started lowering my sensitivity more and more. But I think I have a habit of going too far at this point. So I might lower it back to 0.28 on the dot because that's twice now that I've gone too far. So just little things to notice like that will can really help you narrow down what sensitivity is comfortable for you. Moving on to our graphic settings, here's all the settings that you can change and starting with everything set to high, I have comparison images between each of the settings when compared to the high and the low. But to me, it just didn't seem like that big of a difference. So ultimately, I just pretty much set everything to low and turned everything off, including the shadows, because the shadows just didn't have too big of a change other than a small dot on the ground. All right, well, I think that's all for me for today. So I hope that was helpful to some of y'all and be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. It helps me out tremendously and feel free to drop comments below if there's anything in particular you'd like to see. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time.